Welcome to Music and Mission. My name is Tom Booth, and today we welcome back our friend Tony Melendez for a second episode as he shares his music and his mission with all of us. Tony, thanks for coming back for a second episode. <laughs> In that first conversation we had, we, we heard about your early encounter with the Lord and then your encounter with a saint and how that embrace uh, was a really a commissioning into a life of ministry that you've you and your brother are now 35 years yeah amazing it's been powerful and you know not just that you know mother Teresa uh, and you know the church as a whole you know with sense of catechists from priests to uh, bishops cardinals I mean it, it's been so exciting it's it's even hard to put into words sometimes I don't want to embarrass you, but you've <laughs> stayed so humble. You've stayed so humble, and that is truly beautiful. And I think God can use a humble instrument. And oh, thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you about that. Uh, we were talking earlier, and I said, you know, what, what is it that, how do you stay focused? How do you stay motiv motivated? You said, I'm a servant. <laughs> Talk about that, Tony. You know, here's a guy with a, without any arms. God uses you. Uh, and it's like, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Uh, what's next? And I didn't really know the answers. Um, and I didn't even know what to do. Uh, uh, but it's kind of like what Pope John Paul II says, you know, just to continue giving hope. And what is that hope I had was the music, mm. playing the guitar with my toes. And God took control of it, not Tony Melendez, God did, and used it to his benefit, and thank God, you know. Uh, that's why I'm his servant. Uh, I do what he says, um, and I am not in control. <laughs> wow. Well, the Lord taught us to pray, and he gave us the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> and you set that to music. I was wondering if you could sing that for us today. Yeah, pray with me as I sing it. Amen. 
<laughs> Tony, you spend a lot of time with young people. Young people are drawn to you. You've sung in schools and high schools. And I've been with you on a <laughs> tour. We spent a lot of time together. And I watched kids. Uh, they're drawn to you. And I wanted to ask you something. So many people, young people especially now, I'm not enough. I, I'm, God can't use me. I'm broken. I'm incomplete. I'm addicted. I'm depressed. I have anxiety. How, how do you respond to a young person? You know, people, young people come up and say, how, how can you live in a body without any arms? You know, and here I am. I got everything. And that's why I tell them, you have everything. You have your mind. You got your heart. You, you got your being. Uh, you know, you allow yourself to let Christ be a big part of that. That would be your strength. That would a whole source that can help lift you and bring you to a whole better place. If a guy without any arms can feel whole, just imagine how you can feel whole in your life. Uh, my son passed away. If Not even, not even two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, Tony. I just want so much. For the young people. I feel their pain in a sense. If you know anything about Padre Pio, knowing things about maybe other people's lives, he had kind of that instinct or that just wisdom to know. Mm. But to be able to change and to feel strong again, the heart is not an easy thing. Mm. Uh, so. But the passing of my son, I just pray for the young people that they have the strength to get through whatever you need to get through and be strong. If, like I said once, if I don't have arms and I can live with this, you can make it through whatever the situation is. Uh, rely on Christ, your family, and those that love you. Thank you, Tony. You know, I think of Our Lady, the mother of Jesus, who watched her son be falsely accused, tortured, and put to death. You have a connection, you and Lynn, with Mary that few have. And if you would sing this beautiful prayer from the Gospel of Luke, the Hail Mary, for those watching, I think it would be a gift to us. Thank you. Señor está contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén.
thank you for that beautiful song. Pray for us, Mother Mary. When we were talking earlier, Tony, I asked, how is how has the church changed when you look out at an audience? And you said something that really stayed with me. You said, you can sense the lack of college age people in your audiences. Can you talk about that? <laughs> yeah, I remember just being younger and that was, my, my thirst was to be with the young people and Christ. And, uh, you know, being with my peers just helped me, you know, even in my own faith. And, our, that age isn't coming to church as much. Even the younger is starting not to come. Uh, you know, and you know, parents aren't bringing the kids anymore to, to the churches you know, for sacraments. And that's been the big change, but we need to bring that all back. We need to somehow reach those young individuals because our church needs the young people. Yeah. We need the family, and the family is where you could help bring all of this back. And that's a special entity that we have, a special gift, you, the family. So we're going to sing a song about family, one bread, one body, where we need the young people and we need the older folks. We need everybody because we're one family in Christ. Yeah. It's Cristo. not the same if they're not there. Yeah. That's right. In Cristo. In Cristo. <laughs> Una familia. Una familia juntas. Juntas. Together. <laughs> Let's sing that song together as we close this time. Thank you, Tony. We 